Hey there, Five here, coming at you with part 81 of my James Pond 3 walkthrough guides. This is Blue Cheese Badlands. We get another message from F, telling us we need the teacups yet again. Watch out for that Alan McRat. You want to bounce off that bush beast up to these blocks to get the yellow teacup. You'll find a dynamite here, and you'll find a hidden purple block there. Using that purple block, you can jump into the tree on the right, and then jump to the right again into that part of the tree. Be careful as that block is kind of narrow. You then want to jump up into the top of the tree, and then to the left to get the map. Continue left along these platforms until you end up at the very beginning, and you will find a helmet. I like to try to use this dynamite to kill this Alan McRat. You don't really have to. You can go past him if you like. And there's another one at the bottom of the hill. Bounce off of that Tex Hobble Star to get the purple teacup there. If you don't make that jump, you can always break those blocks with your helmet now. And you can see just below me the Alan McRat driving back and forth, and I'm going to wait until he's moving left, and then I'm going to jump to the right, jump into this hole for the blue teacup. Jump into this tree, and jump to the left to find the red teacup. And if you want to avoid that Alan McRat, the easiest way, you want to get onto that platform like I did and jump right over his head. There's a star here. When you find the exit beacon, you want to go into the tree. You'll find a hidden block. Above it is another one. And above it and slightly to the right is another one. And using this stack of blocks, you can get to the platform up there with a lost treasure of the moon. This is the fifth lost treasure of the moon. And if you jump far to the right, you'll land on those moons there. And that is it. If you like this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.